Hello everybody, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. Just keep swimming 1111. This is a pre-recorded video. Um, you should find this up on my channel in a few days. It takes a little time to post uploads, but uh, whenever this finds you, I'm sure it will be the perfect time. So in reading my comments lately, I've seen, a, um, I'm getting a lot of different people. So first of all, hi, welcome, welcome all new people. I hope you stick around. I have great messages for the Soulmates, Twin Flames, and General Collective. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I do here on this channel. And I specialize in the Twin Flame journey and Soulmate journeys, Divine Soulmates. Um, that's what I've been called to do. There are true loves out there. There are normal love relationships out there. There are karmic relationships out there and uh, there's a lot of general stuff going on out there so there's a lot of different readers for different things i highly suggest a lot of really good readers miriam kramer's great at reading general energy uh, tyler's tarot is really good at reading karmic energy um, and general energy um, tarot queen brie is great at reading soulmates and twin flame energy um, my cards never lie tarot is really good at reading soulmate and twin flame energy as well um, there's a lot of good readers out there. Um, it's written in the stars. Tarot um, is really good at reading twin flame readings and soulmate readings. Um, let's see who else would I say is good at general. Oh, Soulful Revolution. Really good at all of it. She's kind of a multitasker. She does twin flame readings, soulmate readings, and general readings and karmic readings. Very good reader. Um, Sunshine Tarot is really good at readings. Um, she's really good at reading karmic readings and general readings and soulmate readings. Um, Jason with Ray of Light Tarot is also really good at reading um, Twin Flame and soulmate readings. There's a lot of people I really suggest out there. I'm trying to think of more. Uh, Cindy G from Tennessee, a couple of tarot, really good at reading uh, karmic and soulmate readings. Uh, Twin Flame also there, here and there. Um, so there's a lot of really good readers out there that I suggest you watch um, besides myself. Uh, but just keep in mind that when you're watching tarot, there's different readers for different journeys. The journey that I usually specialize in and specifically read tarot for is the Twin Flame and Soulmate Collective. Now, there's been some differences of opinions on what Twin Flames are, Soulmates are, and what love is. Um... In my readings, I talk about divine journeys. These are more of a self-reflective inner journey work involving love, love life, that is going to help teach you on this journey. You've been reincarnated here to learn lessons. Um, so there are some differences of opinions there for many people. Um, the idea of love varies from different person to different person. Also based on your personality, um, your zodiac signs play a big part in that. The nakshatras play a big part in that. The padas play a big part in that. Uh, everyone's different. Each sign is different. Uh, never judge anyone based on a sign. Each sign has different characteristics. Um, but I will say, if you are in the business of watching tarot and maybe trying to help people and in your way of helping in a more earthly way is judging people on their journey and saying what love is and what love isn't. If there's one thing every human being on this earth knows, it's none of us really have an exact science to what love is and what love should be. Because love comes in different many forms. The same way God comes in many different forms. In the form of love. Sometimes the way God loves you is taking something from you and causing harm. Uh, to teach you a lesson to prevent yourself from further harm or hurt in the future lives. Sometimes love comes in the form of a beautiful blessing and protection and caretaking. Sometimes love comes easy for you in a fashion where it falls in your lap and it feels like destiny and it's so easy and it's a beautiful love. And sometimes love comes in the form of difficulties, hard work, inner reflection jobs um, that have to be done. And uh, that's also love. So for anyone to say what love is and what love isn't, and for anyone to label people for being in relationships that they're in, and to the, to the blind eye for the general people in this world to make judgments on people's relationships based on the hardships they've had, and clarifying what real love is and real love isn't really isn't our job, is it? 
that's god's job that's the universe's job and my defense in that is everyone has a different astrology chart a birth chart and it's going to tell you how your life is going to go generally speaking for your destiny some people are born here blessed with a wonderful lifelong marriage and happiness and uh, wealth health and happiness just complete joy in their life um, they will have ups and downs with maybe finances or children but generally speaking their relationship is good um, and some people are not blessed with that kind of a chart and we are blessed with beautiful amazing children wealth beyond our wildest dreams but relationships may have been turmoil and trouble in our lives uh, we may experience difficulties in marriage maybe multiple marriages or no marriages at all um, and some people are born into this world to never be married never have a loving relationship but be on a more spiritual journey and not be involved with another person uh, we each have a different meaning and purpose and role in this life and so i'm just bringing that up to say whatever you find yourself in on this journey on any of those tarot channels and even on my channel if you find yourself resonating with readings you don't have to label yourself or judge yourself know it's a part of your journey whatever it is you're meant to go through it um, I'm not a fan of labels and I'm not a fan of blame games and I'm not a fan of people um, trying to make sense of a difficult situation by saying it's toxic and they don't need it um, in order to have balance we need toxicity in order to have light we need to have the dark in order to have love you need to have some experience of heartbreak um, and so there's an appreciation level here that needs to be had and whatever part people are in on their journey It's best for us to just to sit back and let them have it Let them experience the journey that they need to experience as long as they're not in any physical harm of uh, Death or injury or something of that nature Other than that people will generally learn how they need to learn the way they need to grow And it's not up to us to dictate how that rules their life so I'm not going to be here on this channel telling you what to do and when to do it and how to do it. But I am here on this channel to show you some of your realities through the tarot cards. Sorry for that little interruption. Okay, so that being said, guys, um, part of what really needs to happen here today is a reading to see what's going on on your path and in the journey. So I'm going to do two paths. And I'm going to kind of show some kind of a difference of opinion on how each life works differently. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a soulmate path straight down the middle in between two worlds. I'm going to do a twin flame path and a karmic path and just kind of show you a difference in how these journeys work and how they move forward. So keep your mind open. See what resonates with you. Toss what doesn't. This may not be exactly your journeys, but it's good to take something from all of them if possible. We all have karmic people in our lives. Most of us have more than one soulmate. Um, soulmates don't just have to be love relationships. They can be soulmate family. People that you're just drawn to, meant to be with, part of your destiny, reincarnated with here again. And some of you people have twin flames, which is one soul, two bodies down here on this earth meant to learn very difficult lessons so the twin flame journey is a very difficult path it's a path where you might be hurt ridiculed and made fun of damaged in some way put through obstacles and destructive paths like uh, ganesha and lord shiva is coming here to teach you something through obstacles and then give you a blessing like lakshmi in the end so there's a lot of self-reflect work in the twin flame journey to help your soul refine itself to become the diamond in the rough that it is to become more beautiful through constructive criticism and obstacles your soul is meant to grow and thrive your soul is not meant to be here and have everything made easy relationships are not meant to fall in your lap and just be easy now the people that have found luck in that are few and that is a big blessing a very big payoff for probably many lifetimes of difficulties so we don't know those people's journeys but let's just go ahead and see what we can find <clears throat> in the journeys i've mentioned i'll start with the twin flame journey 
Okay, so the twin flame journey, who represents you on this twin flame journey? What best represents you on this twin flame journey? This will best represent you on the twin flame journey. What best represents someone on a soulmate journey in a soulmate relationship? What best represents that person? So I have two cards. Okay. What best represents you in a karmic relationship? What best represents you in a karmic relationship? I'm going to go ahead and do two for each card. So I'm going to do the uh, I'm going to do the consciousness and the subconsciousness of each one of you represented here. One of you in a karmic relationship or maybe you are a karmic, one of you in a soulmate, one of you in a twin flame journey, okay? <clears throat> Try to get my reading situated. Okay, so let's start with the soulmate. What best represents you soulmate? This side of the day. Consciously, you are the seven of wands. On a soulmate journey, you're the leader. You're always defending yourself. Um, you're always fighting for what's yours. You're strong. You're a leader. Um, you feel like there's a lot of, of hardship against you. You feel like there's a lot of opposition. Uh, but you're standing tall. You're standing strong. And you are succeeding. You are being victorious on this. In a soulmate journey, you're best represented consciously as defensive also. Always facing towers. Two swords, towers and decisions, Gemini, Mars energy. On a soulmate journey, somebody here could definitely be defensive and having to deal with a very difficult fire or air sign. Okay, always on defense, always having to pr protect yourself from this energy, from this person. You feel like people are always out to get you. There's always something you got to face, some opposition. And uh, the two of swords is making decisions, clearly, following your heart, and not being illusioned what i mean by that is illusioned by not being set off by an illusion by not being fooled bamboozled okay on the soulmate journey it is about not being put down the wrong path there's always a fork in the road and every time you make a decision you feel like maybe you made the wrong decision you're always questioning yourself trying to get answers now, what represents the twin flame consciously? High Priestess. <clears throat> Very explanative of the twin flame journey. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. High Priestess is the ultimate feminine high twin flame energy. This is about seeing the truth, speaking the truth, knowing the truth, always on the journey of truth, balance, and spirituality. You are the keeper of esoteric knowledge, the keeper of what is real and true. Um, knowing what to say, when to say it, not saying the truth to everyone because you know what the information is that you have in your hand, the scroll, whatever information the twin flame has and has learned is not meant for everyone. Not everyone can handle the truth. Not everyone can understand your journey. Not everyone can be down your path. This is about being on your throne without being loud and proud about it. Twin flames don't need to brag about anything. They're on a very difficult path. They stand in the doorway between the subconscious and the conscious. They stand in the doorway between 5D, 9D and this three-dimensional world. They are at the cusp of the matrix and what is beyond. You are the keeper and the key of knowledge. Okay, and you are to learn these things through difficulties. Um, it takes great strides to go through the phases of the moon. 
the beginning, the fullness, and the end. Uh, you'll, you'll be a psychic. You'll be an intuitive. You'll have spiritual gifts. You'll be a leader in many different people's eyes. And you hold the truth always inside you. Always balanced. Knowing when to say yes and when to say no. The biggest part of your twin flame journey is knowing those two things. Boundaries. Self-love. Balance. When to say no. When to say yes. When to cut people out. When to let them in. It's knowing the difference between right and wrong, spiritually and consciously, and always letting your intuition be your guide, letting your wisdom be your guide, the owl, divine feminine energy, Pisces energy, um, Cancer energy. Then you have here your subconscious, the Knight of Swords. Again, the seeker of truth, the fighter of her truth. You'll have to fight off many, many people. The Knight of Swords is a lot like the Seven of Wands here for the soulmates. You're always having to fight off for what's yours, fight for what you want. Uh, always seeking the higher truth, the higher way, the higher path, turning the other cheek, uh, forgiving those that need forgiveness, using the serenity prayer for your benefit, um, rising above the rest, not walking on the ground with a bunch of turkeys, but flying and soaring like the eagle you are. You are a bird of splendor and freedom. Uh, you're meant to be on a journey of greatness, but it's also a hard, difficult journey of self. There's a lot of lonely days, a lot of lonely nights, but it's for the greater good of the soul and the greater good of the collective. <clears throat> now, what's going on in the karmic energies? We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. If you are in a karmic relationship or you are a karmic, this represents you loss, frustration, Always spending your energy, spending your money, spending your time. Feeling like you're just losing at all times. Karma is difficult and you reap what you sow. In this particular case today, if someone watching isn't a karmic energy, you're losing. You're losing time, sleep, money, effort, energy, uh, and years of your life in relationships and things and ideas that don't serve you. And it's about learning to let that go what is subconsciously on your mind is the three swords, heartbreak, pain, and frustration. Sorry for that interruption. Um, anyways, the karmic energy is dealing with heartbreak, loss, sadness, just disappointment, uh, not being satisfied with the current marriage or relationship or home. Karmic energies are generally something you don't get to keep. A karmic energy is something you're meant to go through and then lose and let go of it. They're lessons. Um, even karmic relationships are not meant to be lasting. They're very temporary. Um, so this relationship here or this person, this karmic energy has just gone through a great loss of a commitment, a divorce, even the loss of a house, the loss of job money. Um, and that's what they're suffering with. And uh, they're feeling heartbroken for the pain. Now, how does this correspond with each other? Um, if a karmic is involved with a twin relationship, a twin could be experiencing this karmic loss. Um, a twin on the right path could be experiencing an increase in knowledge, an increase in wisdom and spirituality. A soulmate in this journey can be experiencing some obstacles and hurdles, needing to make decisions right now to make a better course of action. Okay, so there's a lot of different aspects with these readings, but I'm trying to read three in one. So let's go ahead and pick up on where we need to be. What is your challenge, karmic energy? What is your challenge for the karmic? What is your challenge for the karmic? More coins, earth energy. Okay, so earth, earth. If there's a karmic energy out there, it's definitely Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Maybe dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But the challenge for you, karmic energies, is the five of coins. This is loss. This is receiving help or giving help in many cases for those that need it. But this is generally speaking of a loss of time, a loss of money, and a loss of faith even a loss of health. So right now in the karmic energy, there's a lot of losses going on and I do know it's the loss later end of this card because you got the 10 of pentacles in reverse, dumping out the money. So karmic energies right now are facing a huge financial hit or a health hit or even a, um, being left out in the cold and separated in some kind of a divorce um, or the loss of a home, loss of money, loss of sleep. Okay, so someone here in the karmic energy is hurting from loss. What is the challenge? Um, 
Also, by the way, and I didn't get to tell you, but the bottom of the deck was three of cups. So part of your challenge could be third party energies also, okay? For the karmic energy, third party energies. Now, what is the challenge for the soulmate? <clears throat> challenge for the soulmate is the emperor. Stability, father energy, husband energy, son energy, grounding. This is Leo for me as a reader. The typical readers call it Aries. But it is Leo for me too, Magha Nakshatra. So this is about facts, logistics. It's just a matter of a fact. Something that's not avoidable. There are things and walls you cannot overcome. And someone here in the soulmate energy is fighting to overcome all obstacles. But there are some barriers you can't overcome. This is like the Supreme Court. You can fight the court and lose in the judicial system, but if you want to appeal that and take it to the Supreme Court, you can. But once the Supreme Court has made a supreme decision, there's no going back. That's it. Okay. Anyways, after that interruption. So there's a brick wall. There's something you can't overcome. There's something you can't push through. There's a barrier. Um, it could be a man. It could be a father. It could be an authority figure. It could be a court system energy. But there's just something you can't penetrate. And it's very frustrating for you. And you're trying to find your way around it and make a new decision. What you don't see coming about this energy is the, what is this? The king of swords. So this is a lawyer. This is a judge. I feel for a lot of you on a soulmate journey, you're definitely facing something legal. You're fighting to have stability and you're, you made choices in the past that you're fighting to defend. Um, but I see that it's not going to be in your favor here. I, I almost feel that way because of this King of Swords. I feel like something's going to be cut out. There's going to be an authoritative decision made um, against you. And the, this wall, you won't be able to penetrate. You might be given a summons or you might be given some kind of a court order to pay something, do something, or do something that's just and right. Because it's about taking responsibility for your actions, responsibility for your choices. Somebody here is being forced to take responsibility. Oops. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Someone here has been very carefree, very much the juggler, trying to have a good time, ignoring responsibilities, having a selfish good time. Definitely Leo energy going on there. Just really too much of a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of an issue there. Um, and someone's going to have to pay the piper. Yeah, look at that. Four coins. Pay the piper. Someone's going to have to pay up be just and uh, be more stable be more righteous tell me about what is the challenge for the twin flames what's a challenge for the twin flames page of cups so this is about a child okay an innocent an innocent in in this the page of cups is learning growing emotionally spiritually going with the flow this is definitely going with the flow learning to take it easy learning to be peaceful learning to meditate uh, learning to be more of a spiritual being and not such a high thinker but more of a feeler on the twin flame journey you really need to feel more than you think about things and you're thinking very difficultly on something you're trying to keep quiet for the sake of a child or the sake of an innocent life and uh, for the sake of innocence, you're trying to hold back. But steps need to be taken to do the right thing, to do justice. At the bottom of the deck, what's really haunting you here is this Four of Cups. Emperor energy. You're definitely dealing with the soulmate, twin flame journey. See, soulmates and twin flames are generally on a same alignment. Um, because your twin flame is also a soulmate. It's someone that you've been reincarnated with to be with. Okay, so this is very connected here. The karmic energy may be the third party, maybe a karmic. This almost feels connected as it's one person's reading, but it's three different energies. So I feel this is more self. This is more who you're dealing with. And this is more the third party, if that makes sense for anyone. But please take it how it resonates for you. But on this twin flame journey, I just feel like you know something about an innocent and you're trying to do the right thing you're seeking justice and you're trying to be just and righteous this is a lot like the justice card you're just trying to be fair for the innocence involved you're very unhappy with the decisions that have to be made but it's going to create the stability you need you may be having to go against 
Knight of Swords, this Emperor. You may be the one that one of this Emperor energy is fighting off. You may be the decision, this air sign energy over here, you may be the decision that this soulmate energy is trying to push away. Uh, and you're trying to spiritually have peace and make alignment uh, with this person. And it's very difficult because you're hurting. You're not happy with what you have to do, but yet justice says you know you have to do it. It's what's in order. It's what's just. I do feel that your apology is, I'm sorry, <laughs> your challenge could be an apology. Your challenge could be that you really wish this person that hurt you and slighted you or hurt this child needs to apologize and they're not. And you're trying to fight for the justice in the situation. Who are you dealing with? Twin flame. Who are you dealing with? Oh yeah, there you go, twin flame. The lovers, Gemini energy, six, six. And you have another six at the bottom, six of cups. This is a past life lover. This is someone you've known before. This is that divine soulmate, twin flame energy this with the lover's the card. For that interruption there. So we're talking about this lover's energy. This is that twin flame soulmate energy that you've known this person from another lifetime before. Uh, this is reconciliation. You really want this. You want harmony. The six really represents harmony and balance. And you want harmony and balance with this person. It makes it very difficult when you need this apology to come in and it's not. You're very sad and you're looking back at the past on how beautiful your love is with this person and how you wish it would come to fruition. Now I see what, like the signs of who you're dealing with could be a water sign for sure. Um, also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be who you're dealing with. Um, but you're really just wishing that this could be fixed. This could be remedied. Um, and, and who you're dealing with could be a person that you're meant to be with, obviously, Twin Flame. It's someone you're meant to spend this life with, and you know it. And there's difficulty, there's distance, there's sadness, there's storms behind you, there's heartbreaks, there's other energies involved. But it's all part of your path and part of your destiny. I know it's destiny because of the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. This will change. There is going to be a turn of events. Things will change in your outcome. Now let's see what's going on with the soulmate. Who are you dealing with as a soulmate? Soulmate, who are you dealing with? Knight of Cups. The World card. Oh my gosh, and King of Cups. All these are Pisces energy and Scorpio and Cancer. Definitely a water sign. So who you're dealing with soulmate is also a water sign energy here. And it's just soulmate, you're dealing with someone that you love and that you're, you're trying to be with. You're trying to pursue them with all your heart. You're offering your love in your cup. You're trying very hard. Uh, you're pursuing and you're fighting. And it's almost like you're fighting against destiny. You're fighting against what you're supposed to be doing. There is an authority. There is a law and order to this. And the authority is telling you it's over the world this is finished you have to let this go there's a completion of a love interest you have to let them go and move on uh, this is an ending to what once may have been happy and fun loving but even emotionally fulfilling you had a lot of action towards something that you really wanted and it was great for a time and now it's over um, this emperor is saying, fun time's over. It's time to pay up. It's time to put an end to something. It's time to quit offering your cup of love to this energy. Now what's going on with the karmic energy? Oh, that came right out. Karmic energy, we have the nine of wands. Another over energy. This is it. It's over. It's it's a long thing that's been going on and on and it's time to put an end to it also you've been fighting for this fighting to stay afloat fighting to maybe be in this third party relationship uh fighting to keep someone away from a third party relationship maybe just fighting for what's yours there's some shame there's disappointment and there's regret there's wounded and embarrassed stop it's gone you're gonna have to get a new one so this is a wounded and embarrassed energy. I have it. And this is just um, 
having to let it go at this point. Let it go, let it go, let it go. As far as a karmic energy, it must be let go of. If you have a karmic in your life or you are a karmic watching this, you have to let this earth energy go or even this fire energy go because the other part of what you're dealing with is a knight of wands. And in this particular meaning for the karmic, it is someone interruption. So part of what you're dealing with is uh, somebody who's in and out of your life. Okay. Someone that you've broken up with, gotten back with, broken up with, gotten back with. Um, this person's not faithful. This person is offering their love and affection and wands elsewhere. Okay. This person is maybe even a little bit of a commitment phobe. Uh, someone that wants to commit, desires to commit, but can't fulfill the job. And so it's about letting it go. This is not your person. This is not your energy. You have to move quickly, move on very quickly. This is about the universe saying you need to move on quickly. I knew it. I knew it. Look what's at the bottom. Uh, as the twin flames got the um, will of fortune on their end at the bottom of the deck, you have received the eight of cups at the bottom of your deck karmic energy and this is walking away leaving what does not serve you anymore letting someone walk out the door leaving something you once loved leaving a relationship that isn't going to work um, this is saying goodbye to something you cared a lot about at one time but it's time to let go now and uh, there is some embarrassment there is there is a burden there's a hurt there is and there's going to be some heartbreak through your swords but this is the ultimate ending of what's going to happen in your energy. So it is that walk away energy, the eight of cups, which is kind of sad for a lot of people. Uh, it's hard to let go of something that you once cared so much for and you desired and you worked really hard at. <clears throat> and it's not your fault that it just, it had to end like that. It's just part of fate. It's part of destiny. It's part of karma. I don't think it's something that you could have avoided. I should have put down the Wheel of Fortune, so trying to find it. It's not something that you can avoid. Fate comes for us all. Karma comes for us all. Even this Wheel of Fortune is fate and karma and destiny. It's supposed to happen that way. Okay, it's supposed to happen. Um, in the middle ground here for this soulmate energy, it's just over. Let's get this outcome for the soulmate energy, which I think I forgot. What is the outcome for the soulmate energy? Two of cups. Okay, look at that four of cups down there. This is leaving, ending a relationship that no longer serves you, ending a situation that no longer serves you. You're not happy and going into a new one. Soulmate energy right here, two of cups, the person you were meant to be with all along. There's somebody waiting on the other side. When you close this door, another door will open. A relationship bond is going to be made for the soulmates. There is a reunion coming in for you guys within two months for the soulmates. Uh, it's about letting things go. The same as this karmic energy, letting things go. I also see for those of you that are facing some kind of a court proceeding and you're like fighting, for, fighting against it, you're afraid to face it. What I see happening here is you're going to overcome this and you're going to be making a compromise. There's going to be a handshaking. There's going to be a compromise. There's going to be an agreement and a fairness. And this is going to work out in your favor. I do see that. Okay, so I see this as a beautiful transformation. Really nice. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, I see you guys making amends, maybe coming back together after a difficult road of defensiveness. It's almost like someone didn't understand the other party. And now that you guys have communicated, maybe with a mediator, maybe with the law, maybe with someone of authority, maybe a father, uh, now that there's been communication and there's been some kind of agreement, you guys have ended your emotional battle of running emotionally from the situation. Even the swordfish here talk about swords and difficulties, difference of opinions. Someone sees a six, someone sees a nine, someone sees it my way, someone sees it my way. Uh, both of the energies are telling the truth as they see it. Just because you don't see it a certain way doesn't mean it's not the truth. It's the truth for that person. 
And just because you see it a certain way doesn't make it a lie. It makes it the truth for you, for how you see it. This is about compromise. This is about being not so stubborn and not so defensive and ending the defensiveness, ending the stubbornness, ending the Cold War. No one's going to win in the Cold War. It's just stagnant and it's ongoing. Now, what is between the karmic and the soulmate? What lies between the karmic and the soulmate? We have the two of wands and the nine of cups. It's a fork in the road. You have to make a choice. Same as the soulmate, a choice. You have to walk through that gate in a decision for your own happiness. Someone from the past wants to reconnect with you. Both of you, soulmate and karmic. Somebody from the past wants to reconnect with you. It is a water sign on both sides. Someone wants to make you happy. Three of cups. You guys are, again, second time you've gotten this karmic. This is a third party situation. It was good while it lasted, but it's over now. We have to just walk away. Thank you for the experience. Thank you for what it was. It's time to move on. I see this karmic and soulmate relationship drifting away and uh, moving on by the next holiday. So we're looking into October for Halloween, uh, and then you're looking into Thanksgiving. By the next couple of holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, I see that this is gonna be ending. There's gonna be some, some kind of loss here, and it's about walking away ultimately from the relationship. So if you are in a karmic relationship, you will be walking away within three months, or somebody walked away three months ago, and it's a time for new happiness. It's about making a decision for your life, no longer staying stuck to that one person. Nine of Cups is a single energy. Now, what lies between the karmic relationships and energies and the twin flame? What lays and lies between the karmic relationships and the twin flame energy? <clears throat> We have the Six of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Also Capricorn energy here. Um, Libra also for me, obviously. This is about fairness and balance. This is balancing out the scales of karma. What lies between you and your karmic partners or karmic vibrations, energies, and relationships of all forms is balancing out the scales. There's an injustice and there's an imbalance and karma has to be re rectified queen of coins we did get a lot of coins over here for the karmic energy you could be dealing with a earth sign karmic okay um and this is about being more mature being the giver and the lover not the taker and the receiver uh, this is about healing old wounds making good on promises this is about justice this is about giving and healing a relationship that is wounded uh, this is a beautiful soulmate journey and the karmic person uh, or the karmic energy in between you guys is teaching you how to be independent, grounded, stronger, wiser, and more mature of a soul. You've dealt with a lot of tricksters. You've dealt with a lot of quick in and out energies. You've gotten a lot of uh, gossip. But you've transformed through all these difficulties and obstacles and hardships. It's made you a better person with who you are on this journey. You are now more stable and more grounded than ever before. And had this karmic energy not entered your life, you would have been broke down and in poverty and uh, in the wrong direction. This path... All these karmics in your life has taught you to be stronger and better. And now you will have abundance and you will have wealth, health, and happiness because of your hard work, um, your fairness, your love, your balance of mind, body, soul, because of how it's affected you to be a more strong, grounded person inside and out. You're going to start experiencing your abundance now, even a reconciliation with your lover, with your twin flame. And the will is turning for you in your favor. The fortune is now in your favor. After all the hardship and loss and difficulty and struggle, oppositions, always learning, learning, learning. You felt like school was never going to end. Uh, you finally found some peace. Okay, peace is going to find you on this journey. Let me fix that. So peace will find you now. 
what don't you see coming in this energy is the hierophant commitment someone who secretly has feelings for you could be a scorpio energy the moon was under here could be cancer energy i know it's cancer pisces or scorpio you really are dealing with a water sign twin flame uh this is coming in with um commitment marriage stability also spiritual transformation and leveling up in your spirituality not only have you gained abundance of health wealth and happiness you've also gained a spiritual uh, position you have stepped up as the high priestess and the hierophant twin flame you are now a teacher 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 you are now wise enough and more grounded and more seasoned enough on this path on this journey to lead and guide others to the other side you are fulfilling your purpose therefore abundance will flow wherever you grow when you grow haha -ha, your abundance will flow and that's what i see happening for you the sun is above you you could be dealing with the leo energy i did feel that here with the emperor um this is taurus also but sagittarius for me as a reader because the sagittarius is the spiritual guru of the whole zodiacs and pisces you're here strong but the signs really don't affect the reading. The point is the energy. Um, I do see an apology coming in for you. It's difficult to attain and get, but I do see it's coming in your favor. I do see a reconciliation with your twin flame. I feel that there's going to be happiness again. I feel like these difficult lessons learned were well worth it. And now beautiful change is here at your doorstep bottom of the deck again is just the moon just to show you and it's this spiritual awakening getting past the illusion letting the truth creep out from underneath your subconscious into the 3d dimensional world this is about joining the two okay this is about your your high priestess energy the masculine and the feminine coming together in union uh, this is about a subtle feminine energy giving peace and healing over a long cold night this is about comfort and all the sadness and emotions that have overtaken you. You're finally finding balance and there is harmony. And I do feel there's some fearfulness, but I think you're gonna overcome that. What is an overall message for you guys? Let's see, let's try the karmic. What is an overall message for the karmic energy? Wild horses. Okay, wild horses for the karmic energy, oof. Wild horse, spirit, new adventure, and guess what? Your favorite word, what did I say with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Um, five of coins, letting go. Eight of cups, walking away, letting go. Your key word here is let go. Let go. Roam free, be free. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. You did have the Knight of Wands. Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius karmic, or maybe you are a Sagittarius, but strong earth for the karmic energy. Um, but this is just about, you need to go on a new adventure. This is a new thing for you. You need to walk away, pick a new path, find your happiness, go somewhere else. There is somebody else coming in for you in the future, maybe a Sagittarius karmic. You're going to be free. Okay, there's a butterfly of transformation there with this horse. I love it. Transformation is here. A wild goose, I'm sorry, a wild horse gallop, gallops up to you and bows so you can climb on his back. He, wait, he wants you to take him on a new beautiful adventure into the unknown, full of new opportunities. Though there is just one condition, you are not allowed to take the reins. This card is a sign that new life is just on the horizon, but you have to let go of the reins so the wild horse of life can carry you to freedom. You know what you want, but there is still some old back roads and hidden paths that you must take to get there. There are no shortcuts. When the destination we long for is inside of us, if the map you made to your dreams keeps leading you to dead ends, it is time to release control and let spirit take you where you need to go. There are many treasures of wisdom found in the rocks and streams and trees of the path less taken. These little treasures of knowledge you may have overlooked when letting the mind lead you were the very things that will ultimately help you achieve the changes of your heart is desiring or in the way, seemingly. The wild horse may also 
be a sign that there is something within you that you are trying to, too hard to tame or suppress. Let this wild creative force within you break free so you can ride on the wings to true freedom. The wild horse wants to bring you towards con consciousness. It is only your life and it is only through consciousness we can take the reins of our life and be true co-creators. Wherever you are wanting to go in life, this card is a sign that you have the endurance and the spirit to get there. That's beautiful. I love that. Sorry for that little interruption. Okay. So anyways, wild horses can't keep you from your path, guys. There's something you're going to be forced to let go of. There's something you're going to have to walk away from. Karmic, if it's you, you got to walk away. This isn't your person. Person, if you're dealing with a karmic energy, you got to walk away. That's not your person. There is an ending in sight for anyone here that is with a earth sign or fire sign karmic. Um, it's time to leave it behind. Let it go. Time to move on. Time to push forward. Uh, there's a new adventure awaiting. Once you make the decision for yourself to be happy and you'll find joy and happiness, I feel that you're going to meet someone new, someone special uh, that's meant for you okay someone that's meant for you right now this isn't for you it was a lesson learned cry out get angry get whatever you need out of your system but it is time to release and the releasing will happen period with or without your consent um what's happening with the soulmate what is an outcome for the soulmate Yep. I can take those little berries out into my stomach. Okay. This is an eagle vision, higher self, truth, 2020. I feel like for a lot of you, because of the two of cups, uh, you're seeing 2020. And maybe there is a marriage or relationship coming to fruition in the year 2020. There is something about the twos that are going to happen. And I feel like there is this beautiful companionship and coming together and union happening for you guys. This is about seeing the truth though. Seeing that through eagle eyes, they're right and you're right. You're both right. You both believe something to be true. Compromises need to be made. That's the best course of action. And this two of swords is trying to figure that out. Trying to stop seeing through a veil of their own, you know, justice. This is taking the veil off and seeing the truth for what it is, uh, being very balanced here. And the eagle knows this. The eagle stands for vision, higher self, and truth. The truth of the matter is compromise needs to be made. The truth of the matter is you cannot break down this wall. It's justice, it's righteousness, it needs to be done. Uh, you have to do the right thing and be responsible for your actions, period. Um, this is about growing up, manning up, womaning up, just stepping up to the plate doing what needs to be done and compromising for the greater good for the both of you and all involved. There's a lot of opposition though against you guys in the soulmate energy. A lot of people are trying to fight fight you guys not to compromise. I think there's a lot of opposition and competition and some of you guys may be experiencing interference, maybe even from a karmic energy or lots of other family members and other energies that want to tell you how to live and what to do and where to go. It's about standing your own ground, standing up for what's right for your life and not letting those people interfere. But the outcome says, rise up on eagle's wings and enter the vision. It is time to remember who you truly are. Eagle wraps you in his wings and leads you with his eyes so you can see beyond the veil of illusion. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we just saw that, the veil of illusion. Can't believe it's in there. The light wisps of feathers and wind on your face feels like the presence of seraphims. Creator has heard your prayers and is taking you home to your higher self. The eagles have powerful vision. They can see eight times stronger than our human eyes, spotting prey from a mile high. Thus, eagle symbolizes our spiritual vision. When we close our human eyes and see through the single eye of the universal heart, with eagle as our totem, our vision is strong and focused. We know the truth and are so full of conviction. No amount of illusion can keep us from the truth. Eagle is also a symbol of balance, soaring in the center of heaven and earth, reminding us to touch the sun but never to fly so high we lose sight of the ground. Just like eagle, we are a bridge and we cannot ground heaven and earth when we are not connected to our center. 
See, it's about compromise center, coming together. Eagle wants to, rem to remember your perfection. I'm sorry, Eagle wants you to remember your perfection so you can be free of sin. Aiming with sureness and truth, never missing the mark. If Eagle visits you in your dreams or in this reading, know that your angels are near. Invoke your inner Eagle so that you can be a divine messenger too. Connecting both worlds by delivering the good news from earth to sky. That's beautiful. Messenger energy. Yeah, there's something good coming in for you. Even the Knight of Cups is something good coming in for you. Um, I feel like you're going to be seeing someone take action towards an apology or making right on this. You're going to see someone pushing forward with that apology or pushing forward with that peacemaker energy, trying to bring balance and ending to difficulty and ending to, you know, all the hardships that you guys have been facing. Um, this is like, let's agree to disagree. Let's agree to disagree. Let's agree that we can't change the past. Let's agree that we can't overcome each other. We're both powerful. We're both leaders. Let's agree that we are equals. We love each other. We are yin and yang and that we're meant to be. And we need to come to some kind of a compromise so we can do the right thing. So we can live by truth and justice. This is about thinking with your higher self energy and your vision is union is ultimately what you want, not winning. Winning is just something else. Overcoming someone is not what you want. That's just satisfying the ego right now to put an end to what was wronged. It's not about justice, winning, or being on top. It's about the vision. What you really want is you want this person and you to get along. You want you and this person to come back together in union. You want to come to a compromise and a peace. You want to put an end to the difficulties. That's the real vision. Now, what is the outcome for the twin flames here? My right ear is ringing. What is an outcome for the twin flames, the lovers? Okay. What did we get? You know, they didn't really fall, so I'm not going to take it, but I'll show you. It's inner child, innocence, home, and the true you. I'll speak a little bit about that, but I want it to fall. Um, this is maybe just an extra message for the twins. You need to be more part of your inner youthful self. You did have the Six of Cups, which is a child. Okay. Um, and then you do have the Page of Cups. So there is something here about a child being involved or youthfulness and innocence. Um, this is something about past. Nostalgia. Uh, missing the way things were. Okay. Getting back to what makes you happy. Being creative being who you truly are meant to be, believing in magic, believing that magic is possible. Uh, don't have a disbelief. Don't be so serious. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get an outcome for the twins that can fly out, please. An outcome that can fly out. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the lion begins authority, authenticity, and balance, Leo energy. With the twin flame infinite symbol above his head, I do feel there is some kind of a Leo energy involved here. But the card that flew out is this. Follow the signs, twin flames. Timing, trust, and vision. Just like the soulmate's vision. It's about divine timing. And the fall. This is a sign that the later part of fall, I think that there's going to be a reconciliation or reunion. An apology, possibly. There's going to be a coming together. The Wheel of Fortune is changing. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter and Capricorn. So there could be some kind of change on the 10th month of the year, October. Okay, there could be some big changes being made by that time between you and your twin flame. Um, it may involve children. You are, and it could actually be even a pregnancy for some people. You may be getting news that there's a pregnancy for the twin flames. Um, that there's a child coming in or a new loving relationship being restored. This is a new relationship just starting out. It's like you guys are making up and trying it again after a long time of coldness. Let's go ahead and read what this says. You are seeing the situation correctly, Twin Flames. Sometimes when things are not panning out the way we planned them in our heads, we lose faith. Though just because it doesn't look how you think it should look, it doesn't mean it's not 
what you think it should be. And it doesn't mean that the process of being sorted out isn't actually happening. If you have an inner knowing and a vision, then hold tight to this vision and see it through. If you start something, finish it. Don't drop out because it's not working out the way you thought it would. Do you know in your heart you will be successful? Do you feel it? Then trust that you will be. Has spirit been showing you repeated signs that your dreams will become a reality? That this relationship is meant to be? That someone who trespassed on your sacred grounds of your life will be served the necessary karma? We're talking about the karmic. If someone has trespassed in your relationship, third party energies, do you believe that there will be justice and there will be the necessary karma served? That is a question. What you believe you will achieve, trust that. Trust in this karmic ending. Trust that this will of fortune hand of God is going to come in with the correct karma payback. Trust that the seeds that you have sown will come to fruition. Just because things look still, it doesn't mean that the winds of change have not come into motion. Don't let outside appearances or temporary circumstances fool you. Have patience and trust that your inner vision will be in fruition soon in the divine timing. All will come to fruition in divine timing. This is about keeping the faith and trusting God's work in this, God's hand in this, the winds of change in this, trusting that justice will be yours, karma will be repaid, justice will be done, seeds that were sown will bloom, will come to fruition. You need to have faith that just because this relationship isn't showing itself the way you thought it should, doesn't make it less twin flame, doesn't make it less beautiful, doesn't make it less than. You are building stamina. You are building strength. Difficult lessons learned. You are becoming stronger, wiser. Keep that in your mind at all times. There is a beautiful reconciliation in the future with your twin. There is a beautiful back together energy. You guys will reunite. There is love here. There's lots of deep love and emotion here. There's a deep affection. Uh, when you guys look into each other's eyes, you know who you are. They know who they are. You come back to self. You will both be phoenixes rising from this fire. This journey's not over. There's a, there's a change in the wind. And I feel that in October, you're going to see some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful changes in your favor. I'm going to go ahead and pull some romance angels. Let me grab them and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So the energy I'm getting that I wanted to pull out, and I'm gonna start over here with the karmic energy. Um, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? Um, and I don't know if you guys want me to leave it here in the middle where it fell or put it over there, but I did have the karmic energy in mind when I was shuffling. <sighs> Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is a soulmate energy. I might just leave it there. It really feels like it fits, okay? Um, there's something that the soulmates need to discuss, okay? And um, I feel like everyone here needs to discuss something. So I might even not separate them into groups. Um, I might just do an overall energy with these readings uh, for the outcome with the Romance Angels, but this does have something to do with karmic energy. You have to release karmic cycles, karmic people, karmic energies, everything like that. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I think you guys have been wanting a heart-to-heart -heart conversation for some time now. Overall, the energy is release your ex. It's time to clear your karmic energy, okay? It's time to clear it, release them, let them go. You have to move on 
And as you know, this really resonates for me with the karmic energy. Now I'm feeling pulled to just leave it there because I really feel like that's what I was thinking when I was shuffling and that's where I should leave it. And I think I should. Spirit's kind of saying, no, if you were thinking karmic while shuffling, you need to leave it with the karmic reading. So these are the outcomes I think I will leave for the karmic reading. There's a heart to heart conversation between you guys. Karmic, if you're watching, you need to have the conversation. It is over. The relationship's done. You have to let it go. It's time. It's time. And I think you're both going to have this conversation and kind of say, look, you know, it was really good while it lasted. We had good times. We had good memories. It wasn't all bad, but there was a lot of bad. It's been a long journey for us. We've stayed longer than we should have stayed. This should have been kind of over a while ago. We've stayed too long, been at the party too long. It's time to quickly move on and get away from the situation so we can be happy. We have to choose our happiness. And right now uh, we have to cut our losses. Am I right with the five of coins, 10 of pentacles in reverse, three, uh, three swords, heartbreak. Yeah, the marriage never happened or the marriage isn't working out. Yeah, the future plans we had aren't going to come to fruition. Yeah, someone feels hurt and ashamed and left out in the cold. There's been a lot of pain involved in this relationship. It's time to cut your losses and just be free, let go and move on. I think that's just the general message. Cut your ties, have the heart to heart conversation, release what's no longer serving you and it's time to pack your bags and move on. Okay, in a, in a different kind of word, I guess. Okay, so please give me an outcome now for the soulmate energy. What's an outcome for the soulmates? An outcome for the soulmate energy? Okay, so with this two of swords, seven of wands emperor world knight of cups two of cups there's been a lot of deception about a codependency in the soulmate energy you may and that's kind of why these cards fell here in the middle you may have to let go of a karmic relationship there was a codependency in your past with someone or something someone's been caught found out justice is now here it's time to pay the piper someone knows someone's found out about something addictions have been affecting this life this romantic life someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship okay so someone knows that this is not the right course of action and they're asking the emperor or the middleman or the authority to step in and change the aspect and dynamic of this relationship because this is a lot of drama a lot of lies a lot of deception someone's been fighting for the right to have justice and the emperor which is the supreme court the authority which could be god could be father could be just righteousness and stability in an energy in general the emperor is stepping in to say yeah you need to get a higher vision here like i said one person sees a six one person sees a nine there's been a difference of opinion let's agree to disagree it's over no fighting let's make amends here Okay, two of swords, two swordfish, two of swords down here. Yeah, there's disagreements. Uh, two people maybe you've been fighting over. Okay, there's a third party energy interfering. Okay, there's a lot of heads, a lot of cooks in the kitchen here, seven of wands, a lot of people against you guys. There's a lot of interference. It's time to just have that conversation together. Agree to disagree and make peace so we can move on, compromise, have, a, have the be the better person have the the higher vision here a higher vision is the ultimate goal that you guys are going to get along keep in mind that someone has been fighting their codependencies and addictions devil energy and keep in mind this person is wearing a mask and i almost want to get one more card to see what is this mask in fact i'm going to use my surrender cards on that because that leads me to question what is this mask when I don't have a card to you know clarify what's going on and I'm not sure instead of guessing I'd rather just pull okay <laughs> geez that came out fast the mask is surrender oh two of them okay surrender the idea that you can fix someone see someone's been fighting to fix someone's energy Okay, someone's been fighting to, to have justice and righteousness done. Really putting their energy into it. Uh, surrender the idea that you're going to fix this person. 
it's time for a relationship shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be what? Accountable for his or her own healing. And the accountable bit is coming from this emperor energy. That's the accountability. That's facing up, manning up, womaning up, stepping up to the plate. Be accountable for your part in this disagreement, this difficulty. Be accountable. Um, surrender to your own healing. And we got, look at this. <laughs> surrender to complete healing. Complete. Open fully to the loving and compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So in order to heal, you have to give up that you're not going to fix this person. You're not going to change their mind. You're not going to make them think how you want them to think. You're not going to make them believe what you want them to believe. There is no way. There is a brick wall, a stone cold wall between you. There is no compromise. Someone is set in their ways and they are wearing a mask. They may not be seeing this clearly at all. Uh, the 2020 vision is realizing, can we agree to disagree? I want to move on from this. I'm not going to change you. I'm going to heal from this though. We're going to make friends again. We're going to be together again. We're going to come to a compromise. We're going to have decency again. That's my vision. And that's going to happen. And if we have to get past this, this stalemate, I'll break the stalemate. I'll surrender that. Uh, I'll be the bigger person, okay? That we can fix this uh, by surrendering, letting it be and just moving forward from this moment out. Somebody here just wants to move forward. Let's get a romance angels for the twin flames. The twin flames, the lovers energy, six of cups, divine soulmate energy. What do you see? What do you see for the twin flames? Twin flame energy. Aww. Wow, lots of children, children, children in this reading. We got flirt and children flirt like children be innocent again you did get six of cups energy you got the page of cups energy you did get inner child earlier that came out and you got children there's children involved in this twin flame energy either you have children now or you've had children in a past life but it's about being lighthearted, being innocent extending your lighthearted energy to this person your love life is being affected by children so there is something here that needs to be righted for the children and it's about doing the right thing, okay? Um, these poor children are involved in some kind of this madness. I also feel that for the Twin Flames, you could have been children uh, growing up when you met each other. And maybe there was a separation. But follow the signs. Divine timing, don't forget, is at work right now. The offers are coming in. Apologies, love offers. Someone coming in to offer their heart and to offer an emotional giving to you is on the way. There could even be an air sign on the way into you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, this person's coming in with a lighthearted energy, probably coming in for the children. If you guys have kids, this person's coming in for the kids. Okay, coming in to see them and do the right thing. Uh, for others, it's coming in like a child, coming in like a page. Lighthearted, fun, not so serious. Coming in for a little peace. Uh, just a very small message, maybe a quick little text. Hi, how are you? Miss you. Maybe a quick little visit. Just thought I'd stop by and say hi. Uh, maybe a visit in your dreams. Okay. Um, whatever it is, it could even just be a gift. Here's a gift for the kid. Here's a gift for you. Whatever it is, it's a small gesture. Uh, and someone's coming in a little shielded, a little guarded, but they want to be open hearted with you and feel more free with you. And so I'll get what is going to be coming in and um, I'll get a different card, a self care card, maybe. Yeah. What's going to be coming in? What's going to be coming in with this flirtatiousness, this page of cups, knight of swords. What's coming in? What's coming in? The truth so there's an apology and the truth is someone's released someone someone broke up with someone someone ended an energy for the twin flames someone ended it uh, they're gonna tell the truth integrity is the key to living an authentic life and you know what I noticed children never lie we've gotten children in every aspect here this person is returning to a point of innocence trustworthiness like a child wanting to not lie to you but tell you the truth this person wants to come in honestly. They're sorry. Okay, it says, have a good cry. 
Grief is a doorway to your deepest self. This person may be releasing, breaking down, having a moment where they've just let, lost it all. They've lost it all, they've released something. They've been silent, they haven't been talking to you. Okay, there's been distance between you guys. Now they're coming in with this will of fortune, the hand of God, divine timing has shown them that things had to end so this can happen. Divine timing is at work to bring together a union, a reunion of the twin flame journey, a reconciliation of love, a reconciliation of family even. The twin flames are gonna have some kind of joy and happiness. The nostalgia is creeping up on you guys. You guys are missing each other a lot. And in your missing each other comes the change. You're not alone. Peace is coming. Peace will be restored. So I love that. That is a beautiful message for you guys. I have one little surprise at the end from my transformation oracles. One outcome for everybody watching. One outcome, please, for everyone watching this reading. This is a beautiful deck. I love it. One outcome, please, for everyone watching. What is a big message from the universe? What do you want us to know? What will change our hearts? change our mind we have grace grace is the same as mercy it's the number eight give grace give grace to the karmic energy grace to the soulmate energy grace to the twin flame energy do any of us deserve grace grace is not something you earn or you can receive grace is something given somebody has to be full of integrity and gracefulness to give grace to others. It's not because they deserve the grace, it's because you are graceful. Because you vibrate in the energy of source and God. Giving grace to others is a gift to yourself to assure that you have peace of mind and you stop judging, telling people when they're wrong, when they're right, what path they're on, what path they need to be on. Why is that your concern? No one appointed you their life teacher. No one appointed you their guide. No one appointed you their ascended master. Grace is about let live and letting live, having mercy and forgiveness, and knowing that everything is a part of life. It's the great circle of life. Everything has a flow. Destiny is at the work here. The universe is at work. We're just on for the ride. So have grace and mercy with yourself and others for the ups, for the downs, for the fails, and for the, for the wins. Have grace. Have mercy and grace on each other. Let the universe support you now. Imagine wearing a dress made of stars, whose fabric is made of the cosmos. All the elements merge to make this divine robe. Air from the swirling clouds, fire from the galaxy's starry lights, water flowing in ripples, and earth represented by the beautiful woman's body. To wear such a dress, be clothed in the splendor of creation, it is to be in a state of bliss that swirls spirals outward to infinity. This is the grace of the universe, which lifts us up when we can't take another step. Grace restores self-esteem. We can all use help remembering to love ourselves. Sometimes negative thoughts, self-hatred, and shame get in the way. Other people bring us grace purely and simply without our need to manipulate it or figure it out. Like a celestial Cinderella, you can wear an attitude as beautiful as the cosmic dress. This attitude is know that you are a child of this universe, as a precious gift as any star in the heavens. Embrace your bliss, confident that the universe provides for your needs and clothes, you in grace and spiritual beauty. This grace card reminds us that the universe showers blessings on us. Grace can be obvious, such as good timing, a stranger's kindness, or being forgiven of a transgression. 
Grace dwells in our natural talents and strengths, good health, and our spiritual awakening, which may come through hardship. The artwork of this card is infinite bliss. The element is fire, the number is eight, and the phase is nourishment. Nourish yourself. Give grace. Give grace. Have mercy. All happens for a reason. What I did notice was the act of children and innocence. Uh, the universe is your guide, and we did get the will of fortune. What I also noticed was air, earth, fire, and water, the elements, just like this will of fortune. Things are changing. It's the natural flow of life. We have to be open to it, open to compromise. This is an attitude. Grace is an attitude. And you must embody it to get positive results. So count your blessings. Have a beautiful, grateful heart. And know that that attracts more joy and love and prosperity than any other thing you can do. Remember to step outside and enjoy a little piece of heaven, which is part of this earth. And remember, God loves you. The universe loves you. All is happening for a reason. And there's a good outcome after every dark night. So I hope this message was good for you guys. I hope it did something for you. And I hope you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, remember, this is a journey, not a destination. So just keep swimming. No matter what journey you're on, just keep swimming. It all leads to a more beautiful destination. And it's just the next step after the next step. Um, one destination begets another destination begets another destination. Um, and it's about the journey. That's why. Because you should enjoy every moment, not each outcome. But every moment in the in-between. It gives you these little gifts. That's why it's called the present. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a blessed, beautiful day. And I'll see you, hopefully, tomorrow.